48 years old, I'm a master one powerlifter. I've been a powerlifter for 15 years. Okay. I started late, started very late. I was always busy in a gym, just like normal people do. And strength mattered to me more than uh, how good you look naked. Everything was about strength rather than that. So I was training in a virgin, virgin morning size. Okay. And I was spotted by one of the, the coaches. He didn't spot talent, he spotted me doing something wrong. And he said to me, you can hurt your back if you do that. So I said to him, well, how should I be doing it? He said, come for a lesson next Tuesday and I'll teach you. So I went for a lesson and I loved it, really loved it. And he persuaded me to come for another lesson the next Tuesday. And, uh, and I thought that after about a month or two, I would know everything there is to powerlifting. Mm. Anyway, he became my coach for about five years, and uh, I did I did well. Even though I started late in age, I did very well. I had good natural strength, and I managed to win SA champs in my division. And then banded together with a, a group of about four of us, also masters, and then set up our own gym at my house oh. and you find this with powerlifting is that it's it's small the small gyms garage gyms okay. and the fancy gyms mm. and uh, we get out of the the, uh, the mainstream gyms yes. mainstream big gyms don't like us training there, and they don't actually have good enough equipment as well so we have our own small gyms basements garages and uh, we very proudly Called ours the Grand Masters Barbell. Okay. It's only Grand Masters because we're all we're all in our forties. Okay. okay. And now, obviously, the more you've got involved in the sport, the more you find out a little bit about it. So, what kind of challenges have you noticed that powerlifting faces in South Africa specifically? Its main challenge is that it's a very, very difficult sport. It's an extremely difficult sport. If you train very, very hard, you can be you're sore for days. Yes. And the temptation is always there to take the drugs to alleviate that, to speed up your recovery. Yes. So that, that is one of the main challenges, is doing it clean. Okay. Is to be very, very strong and to recover properly. Then everything is about the diet. Everything is about getting enough sleep mm. if you want to do a drug free so that is mainly you know, the, the, the main challenge to yes. it it's a very very hard sport yes. people are very enthusiastic mm. and they start into it and they're big and strong and then they hurt themselves yes you will get injured at some stage of your life Every, everybody tears something somewhere and then that makes a lot of people give up yeah. it's, it's, it's simply too hard to keep on going okay so you find that People who are in it into their thirties and then into their forties, those are your true, true strong men. Yes. So as one of those people, you know, that are, are one of the true strong men that have, you know, a little bit of background, you've been in the sport for fifteen years, you said, how do you hope to promote the sport to stay clean, to encourage people to not give up when they get hurt? You said you the, started a gym even correct. in your own house. The, the sport is infectious. Yeah. Because everybody wants to know how much you can bench press, mm. how much can you lift. Yes. And if you take the, the very basics of the Olympic Games, it was strength competition. Mm. So it's a, very, it's a very basic measure of, I wouldn't say man's strength against each other, because women competed as well and yeah. compete very successfully. But it's a, it's the, it is a sport which really is the three basic movements, squat, bench press, deadlift, that is the measure of basic strength. And it is infectious. Everybody wants to know, what do you bench? But they don't say, what can you squat? But squat's actually a hell of a lot more important than the bench. Yeah. Deadlift is the king of all exercises. Yeah. There's nothing that works more muscles in your body at one time than a deadlift. From your ankles to the muscles in the back of your ears. <laughs> it is deadly. Okay. And you've got to know where you are. And yeah. the, as, we, as we set up the gym, little bad basement and garage gyms all over the place and work it around, it's infectious. Yes. People people like to do stuff out. Okay. But we, we stay out of the mainstream gyms. Yeah. We do stay out of uh, virgin gyms. And if you if you look at the, the top competitors in our sport, they are very much cleaner than many of the people that you're yes. gonna find in a in, in a in the big version.
who are those top competitors in South Africa that maybe you aspire to be more like? No, I'm I'm past aspiring. Okay. <laughs> so you're hoping to maybe aspire the younger I'm, generation? I inspire the younger generation, no, definitely, definitely. And I just like to to be my own and do my own personal best. Yes. Is there any big names like amongst the youngsters that you have maybe noticed that you hope to encourage? No, definitely. Um, youngsters like Kyle, Kyle Noonan. All right. Very, very really strong youngster. Okay. Um, I think he holds South Africa's record for, for deadlift. Oh. Um, extremely strong. He's a personal trainer. So right. for him, it's a, it's a way of life. And what he does for a living, it, his involvement in, in it is very infectious as well. Yes. He's a lot of clients. He's, he uh, motivates a lot of people okay. to come along and do it as well. And like for someone maybe who's watching this interview, how would you encourage them to get involved in powerlifting? Is there any specific gyms you recommend? Or It's difficult. It is difficult. There's, um, because it's not very widely advertised. Yeah. But there's a lot of word of mouth. And if you contact a gym, for instance, like the High Performance Center at St. Stidians, that's a big weightlifting and powerlifting gym. And from there, if you're looking for a smaller gym, it's recommended to go to Pretoria. Yeah. There, there. People, people like not to travel too far. Yes. And the gyms are scattered all over the place. Yeah. And, and it's word of mouth. But if you started St. Stidians High Performance Center, that's where, that's where my first, my original coach, he still practices from there. Okay. And you speak about this word of mouth and how important it is, you know, coming into contact with each other. How important is it to powerlifting to be able to perform at an event like this and showcase your sports? That's extremely important. It's very, very important. Um, we do have a website. Okay. It's powerlifting SA, powerliftingsa.co.za. Right. And actually everything is covered on there. And there are good contacts too. There's a, there's a Q&A. Where do I find the gym? I'm in the Edenvale area, for instance. And people are always going to respond to that. All right. Thank you very much, Mark, for your time and your involvement in our magazine. And we wish you all the best for the rest of the year. It's a pleasure.